Hey guys, what's up? This is Knife Crazy here, and I'm going to be doing a little review for you guys of the Skull Candy Uproxx. Alright, let's get right into this. As you guys can see, I picked up the green and, uh, or well, actually, I think it's lime and black edition. It is the special edition. I, I'd, I appreciate to buy these online if you actually want this color. But, other than that, let's just get right into this. Just for, for some, uh, some tech specs. They will run you for about 30 bucks. Just about no matter where you buy them. Uh, they have 40 inch neodymium drivers. And then it also has like the spaghetti style cord, which I'll get into this later. But yeah. Uh, we'll get back into the real review. As you guys can see, they do look very, very nice. And you can see the skull cage right there. This is the uh, the top logo. Very nice. All of mine's a little beaten up. That's because I use them every day. Skull candy on the other side too, and then you know the skull. And then on the, actually on the pad you can kind of see it. They have like little skulls too. Yep. So as far as looks go, I give these things a very good review. They are very nice. They 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 pretty much look good no matter what you're doing. Like you can lock the school in these, and you look styling, I guess. All right. Now let's get into the. Uh, Let's do the pros first. That sounds good. The pros. These things, as you could tell, I mean, they're small. They're extremely light. They've got to be at, like, less than half a pound. It's pretty weird, actually. Um, they're very comfortable for uh, on-ear. They're not really, like, 100 pounds. They're not, like, the best headphones I've ever used, but they're pretty comfortable for on-ear headphones. And also, as you can see, this this is the uh, the cord. This cord is extremely nice. Not really the cord in general, but just the jack at the end. Because as you guys can see, it gets very narrow right at the edge. That's good for uh, my iPhone cases, because some something, even like the Beats by Dre, those cords don't always allow for every single case to let you put the headphones in. So that's a really big plus that these do have it. As you guys can see, it also looks pretty nice. But Alright, so that's just about it for the pros, sadly. Uh, now let's get into the cons. The first thing I don't like is how, as you can see, the skull actually gets, like, it kind of, like, protrudes out on both sides. It's, it's like that everywhere. Like, it just gets big. I don't really understand why they did that. Because, quite honestly, it, it would have made more sense if they just simply kept it flat and then made the skull smaller. But I really don't know why they did that. Next thing I'm not really too thrilled about, it's one of the things they actually consider a pro, is this cord. It does look cool, and it, it they are right, it really doesn't tangle, but, I mean, it, it's just not comfortable. I don't know, it's just, it's not comfortable when you're wearing it, because it, it's really kind of, like, sticky, kind of frictiony. Like, it kind of sticks to your clothes. It's, it's not really good, or bad, but I don't like it, so, I'm going to consider that a con. The next... The next thing I really don't like is how, is this, as you can see, what it does is it kind of like, it's just straight. I like them when they kind of like have like a, like a 90 degree kind of like that. So it'd be kind of like that and it'd be smaller, but I mean, they made this straight, which I really don't like because I'm afraid I'm going to break it off and get the, the jack stuck in my phone. So yeah, I not really a big pro for me. Alright, and then probably one of the biggest, most annoying things about these headphones, which are almost a deal breaker for me to be totally honest, was this. This double cord. Now, as you can see, on normal headphones, when you're using them, they have one cord on one side, and then the, the rope will actually almost like come up through here through the headband and then back over to the side and then you don't need a core on the side but this these they decided to take the cheap way out and for some reason they felt that, that was necessary to make them on both sides which I I hate so much you have no idea it's just it's more annoying and believe me if you've never owned a pair of headphones that do this you're not going to realize how much of a burden it is to actually have it it's aggravating, it's annoying, it gets in the way. You'll actually end up doing what I do all the time is where you'll, something will kind of come in the middle of this and they'll hit it 
and then it shoots your headphones down like that, and then they're not even fit to your head. You're going to end up ripping out the cords. It's just, it's not good. If there was one thing that I would tell Skull Candy to change about these, it would be that. And also, speaking of cords, one thing I think they should have added was um, iPod Touch and iPhone support, where, I don't know if you've ever seen the Beats by Dre, so I'm actually going to go, okay, get one of them These right are now. my Beats by Dre, which will be in a review sooner or later. I've had them for way too long, I still haven't done a review. These are the Solo HDs, but as you guys can see right here, actually, one more thing, I should take, they should make the cords detachable like the Beats. This is just the monster cable. As you can see, it has this little dongle thing right here. And what that does is it has volume up, volume down, play, pause, skip track, rewind track, or as in last track, then answer, and then ignore, or ignore, and then hang up. So, I mean, that's a really cool thing if you want it. I mean, it, it doesn't really serve everyone's purposes, because not everyone uses an iPhone or an iPod Touch, but for those who do, you should really make it an option that they could use it, such as, I don't know why they didn't do it on this one, but they did give that option on the Icon 2s. So I don't know why they didn't do it in the Uprox. I don't know if they were made earlier or anything. I, I really don't know. But here, let's get rid of the beats, because I know no one really likes them, except for me. But, uh, yeah, I mean, for the most part, these aren't bad headphones. They just really aren't good. <laughs> they in I mean, we can get into sound quality now. I guess the specs, I mean, the lows are actually not bad. They're not really powerful, but they are there, and they don't really distort. They don't, the bass itself isn't really distorted. We'll get into that first. The bass itself is not distorted. However, with the bass, such as with dubstep and other forms of music like hip-hop, because of the low bass, the mids get kind of washed out sometimes. Like, they, they really get kind of muddled and icky. <laughs> That's why I could describe it. Um, and then the highs. The highs are actually probably the best part of these headphones, if you ask me. I mean, and a lot of people that are going to buy these headphones aren't really going to know what they're looking for, but compared to some of... Uh, Compared to some really big, uh, even like open, open back headphones, these highs are actually not bad for like 30 bucks. So yeah. Uh, lows, awesome. Mids, garbage basically. And then highs are not bad. Yeah, so yeah guys, that's, that's just about it for these headphones. Uh, just a little recap, they're 30 bucks, 40, 40 millimeter neodymium drivers. And not too bad sounding, depending on what you listen to. Alright, see you guys later. A piece.